Okay. So thanks for joining for class. We're going to do a 60 minute 26 into yoga class. When was that? Okay, and we're going to start with three rounds of sun salutations to warm up the body first. Uh, it's nobody's first rodeo, so just come towards the top of your mat, bring your feet close together, take a moment, rock the weight into your toes, bring the weight back into your heels, then just evenly distribute your body weight on both feet. Take a moment to arrive in the present moment. Okay, great. Bring your hands together at heart center and we'll begin with three rounds of Surya Namaskar, a sun salutation. As you inhale, lift your arms up overhead as if you were saluting or greeting the sun. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward, hands to floor, drop your head. Inhale into a halfway lift. You can have your hands on your thighs, your shins, or eventually the floor in front of you. Exhale, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor and step back into a high plank. And if high plank doesn't work for you, you're welcome to come down onto your knees and tabletop. You have an option to stay here in plank or tabletop or do what's called a vinyasa. Lean forward two inches, hug your elbows in and lower down halfway. Inhale, come up into a back bend. You can do baby cobra with elbows bent and thighs on the floor or up dog with arms straight and thighs off the floor. Um, from here, Take an exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, down dog. Bend one knee, straighten the other, lift your hips, drop your heels, try to relax your head down. And if down dog doesn't work for you, take a child's pose instead. Sink your hips down towards your heels and reach your arms forward. So every plank can be a tabletop. Every down dog can be a child's pose. And if that motion of lowering down and coming up into a back bend, that vinyasa, doesn't feel right for your body, you can go straight from your plank or tabletop directly into your down dog or child's pose. So lots of options. On your next inhale, look forward and step forward, feet between the hands coming up into a halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, drop your head. Inhale, reach your rise, circle your arms, arms up, looking up overhead. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Good, two more. Inhale, lift your arms up, looking up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward, drop your head. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, hands to the floor, step back into your high plank or tabletop. You can stay here and go directly into your down dog or child's pose, or take a vinyasa going forward two inches, lower down. Inhale, come up into your up dog or child's or baby cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, down dog or child's pose. So again, for child's pose, reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, let your head relax down towards the floor. For down dog, same thing, let your head relax down towards the floor, but lift your hips up. Press your heels down, spread your fingers wide, root down through all 28 knuckles, especially the space between your index finger and thumb. Push down there so that not all of your weight is in the heel of your hands. Take a slow inhale, building heat. Slow exhale, warming up the body from the inside out. On your next inhale, look forward, step forward into your halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, drop your head. Inhale, circle your arms, come on up, looking up overhead. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Good, last one, inhale, lift your arms up, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward, drop your head. Inhale, halfway lift, looking forward. Keep back to, uh, exhale, step back into your high plank, keep exhaling, lower down. Inhale, come up into your back bend. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, down dog. For down dog, try to get your heels to the floor. You might need to take a slightly wider stance. Contract your thighs, lift your hips, drop your head. Spread your fingers wide and bring your shoulders down, your ribs away from your ears. Take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, look forward, step forward, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, relax your head down. Inhale, reach your eyes, come on up, looking up overhead. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Wonderful, so that was our little warm up. Now we'll hop into 26 into yoga. Come to the middle of your mat and towel, bring your feet together, toes, heels touching nicely. Interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs and glue your knuckles underneath your chin. Rock your weight into your heels. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Concentrate, meditate and begin. Inhale, chin down and arms up, breathe in through your nose. Lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, exhale through your mouth. Slowly drop your head back, reach your arms forward, elbows touch. Good, inhale, chin down slowly. Bring your chin down, look straight ahead. Lift your elbows all the way up, fill up your lungs. 
Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back, look way, way, way back for the wall behind you, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, so you wanna breathe in through the nose, down through the throat to the very bottom of your lungs. Exhale, head up as you exhale, open your mouth wide. Imagine you're fogging up the mirror on the ceiling, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, keep the weight in your heels, glue your ankle bones together, squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your butt. Exhale, head up, lock your legs, weight stays in your heels, hips a little forward, hip muscles contracting, thighs tight. Inhale, head down as you inhale, open your rib cage wide, expand your rib cage, expand your lung capacity. Good, exhale, head up as you exhale, keep your abdominal wall engaged, stomach in, eyes open, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, this is the last breath in the first set, spine a little longer, elbows a little higher, lungs a little fuller, suck your stomach in, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up, take your time, eyes open, hips forward, legs locked, stomach in, keep exhaling, push, squeeze, elbows touch. Good, change, arms down, you can roll out your shoulders, your head. We do two of almost everything. Second set, feet together, interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, glue your knuckles under your chin. Squeeze your thighs. Squeeze your butt, grow taller out of the base of your spine, and begin. Inhale, chin down and arms up, breathing in through the nose. Lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, slowly tilt your head back. Reach your arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down for one, two, three, four, five, six. Full lungs. Exhale, head up, six, five, four, three, two elbows touch one inhale head down every new inhale you want to take in more air than the last breath to expand your lung capacity exhale head up the more you exhale here the more fresh oxygen you can take in on your next breath push the air out inhale head down so make this the deepest breath so far breathing into the top of the lungs middle of the lungs bottom of the lungs full lungs Exhale, head up. In our day-to-day -day life, we don't really use our full lung capacity, but the lungs need to be worked out like any other part of the body. Inhale, head down. Let's make this the last breath. Second set, deepest breath of your life when your lungs are totally full. Surprise yourself. Take in one more sip of air. Exhale, head up. Let everything go through the exhale breath. Any worries, any cares, let them go. Be here now. Elbows touch. Good, changed, arms down. Ardha Chandrasana with Padasasana, half moon with hands to feet pose. I'm gonna step back just a little bit so you can see me better. Feet together, inhale your arms over your head, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross your thumbs, stretch up, and bend right and left, right and left. Just a little bit of a warm up to warm up your body. I guess that's repetitive. A warm up to warm up. Okay, when you can't stretch anymore, come to stop in the middle. Bring the weight into your heels. Push your hips forward and bring your head and arms back. Inhale, breathing, stretch up out of your waist. Try to touch the ceiling. Exhale, breathing, absolutely straight line. Slowly bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows and knees, continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the left side of your body all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes. Just remember it's the first posture of the day and there's no rush, nowhere you have to be. Nothing you have to prove to yourself or to anyone else. All you have to do is breathe in and out through your nose. Let your breath be your guide. As you inhale, lengthen your arms. As you exhale, come down, push your hips to the left. Come down, push, push, push. Change, beautiful Hannah. Inhale to come up, stop in the middle. Hips forward, arms back, stretch up and slowly bend to the left. As you push your hips to the right, coming down in a straight line without bending the elbows or knees. And it's worth noting that I'm not mirroring you, so it might look like I'm bending to the right, but in fact, I'm bending to the left. You are welcome to follow my words or my body. Just know that in this style of yoga, we will do the right side first. So with that in mind, push your right hip forward. Keep your two hips in line. Now bring your left shoulder forward. Open your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down, push and push and push. Change, inhale to come up. First back bend of the day. And this one's a little bit hard for me to talk and do at the same time. Take a deep breath, full lungs, keep your eyes open and relax your head back as far as it goes. Maybe give your head a gentle shake. Look for the floor behind you, squeeze your butt, press your palms together and immediately bring your arms back with your ears. Try to touch the wall behind you. So whole spine 
backward bending from coccyx to the neck, lower back, middle back, upper back, bend your total spine backward bending, try to fall down backwards, maximum weight in your heels, inhale, breathing, push stomach, thighs, hips, you got it, everything forward and bring your arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, change, inhale to come up, stretch up, exhale, bend your knees, fold forward. Put your hands on the floor, relax your head, and then go for a walk. Move your hips, shake your head. This is a U-turn from back, bending to forward folding. And at the beginning of class, your spine might not be quite warmed up yet. Move your hips to get your lower back nice, relaxed, comfortable, easy, flexible. I'm looking at my leggings and there's so much dog hair on it. It's awesome. Okay, so <laughs> pause, pause my hands to beat pose. Bend your knees halfway. You have options. You can grab the backs of your calves, the backs of your Achilles, or eventually grab your heels from underneath. Step on all 10 fingers. Wrap your elbows back behind you and roll forward. Touch stomach to thighs, chest to knees, and then relax your head. So eventually, face touches the shins below the knees. No room for light and air between the upper and lower body. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, and lift your hips up. Stretch your upper body down from the lower spine to the floor. Pull a little more, stretch a little more. Eventually, head comes to the top of the feet. The change, come on up, arms with your ears, knees can bend, very nice. Arms down, and you stand a little taller, that's the goal. Second set, feet together, inhale your arms over your head, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs. Hips forward, arms back, stretch up, then slowly drop to the right as you push your hips to the left coming down without bending the elbows or knees. So when our back is tight, the rest of our body will try to compensate, right? The knees or the elbows will start to bend. Instead, just come up, press your right bicep into your right ear, press your left bicep, bicep into your left ear, contract your right thigh, contract your left thigh, and breathe. Push your left hip forward, two hips in line, right shoulder forward, two shoulders in line, come down, push and push and push, change, inhale to come up, reset, hips forward, arms back, stretch up and slowly drop to the left as you push your hips to the right, mouth closed, eyes open, focus forward, relax your jaw, relax your chin, lift your chin, lift your chest, suck your stomach in, right hip forward, two hips in line, left shoulder forward, two shoulders in line, keep the weight back in your heels, come down, push, and push and push. Change. And you'll come up. Second heart opener. I'll show you from the side. Take a deep breath. Full lungs. Keep your eyes open. Relax your head back as far as it goes. Lock your legs and then bring your arms back with your ears. So if the knees or elbows are bending, come up a little bit, contract your quadricep muscles, squeeze your palms together, push stomach, thighs, hips forward, and then arms back. Look back, fall back, way back. Go back, more back, good, change. Inhale to come up, stretch up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward. Hands to floor, drop your head, go for another walk, move your hips, shake your head. If you've been here before, notice what's a little bit more loose, what's still a little tight, there's no right or wrong. Second set, hands to feet pose, padasasana, bend your knees. You can grab the backs of your legs or your heels from behind. Wrap your elbows back, touch stomach to thighs. Chest to knees, face to the shins, no room for light and air between the upper and lower body. Pull on your heels like you're doing bicep curls in reverse. Pull on your heels, roll your weight forward into your toes and lift your hips up. Eventually the legs will lock, doesn't have to be today or tomorrow. For today, keep upper body glued to lower body, bend your elbows back a little bit more, roll forward a little bit more, lift your hips up, push your knees back, stretch your spine. Good, change, come on up, arms with your ears, knees can bend. Nice, arms down, and you let that go. Awkward, Ukatasana, chair pose. Step your right foot to the right, six inches, not too big of a step, insides of your feet parallel. Bring your arms up, parallel to the floor, tricep muscles tight. Suck your stomach in, bend your knees, sit back and down into a chair, feet flat position, spine straight to begin with, 100% of your body weight in your heels. Sit down halfway only, hips into a chair. Suck your stomach in, now lean your upper body back, depression to abdominal wall, Contraction to abdominal muscles, suck it in, hold it in tight. A little bit more weight back into your heels. Now lift your chin up, chest up, lean back, fall back, way back, try to fall down backwards at the end, change. Inhale to come up, keep your arms there. Push your hips a little forward, spread your toes wide and come up maximum on your tiptoes like a ballerina, starting to play with balance. Stretch up, bend your knees, sit down. So balance is a fickle mistress. Sometimes 
you've got it. Sometimes you fall out in yoga. If you fall out, always just top back in, heels a little higher, knees a little higher, sit down, change. Inhale to come up, last part, keep your arms there. Squeeze your knees and inner thighs together. Let your heels come a little bit off the floor and slowly sit down, knees together. Stop whenever you want or keep sitting down until you're a half inch off your heels, nice. Squeeze your knees together and forward, lift your breastbone, relax your shoulders, change, knees together, slowly come up. Good, heels down, right foot back, arms down, take a breath. Sack and set, step your right foot to the right, six inches hip width distance, insides of your feet, parallel, arms up, parallel to the floor, triceps tight, suck your stomach in, three, two, one, here we go, sit down. So the first part, stick your butt out and fold forward to get thighs parallel to the floor. Look down and if you can't see your toes, lean back a little bit more. So you eventually knees over ankles. Suck your stomach in, now lean your upper body back, lift your chin up, chest up. Good, change, inhale to come up, keep your arms there. For the second part, tuck your tailbone under like your pelvis is like a bowl and you wanna tilt the bowl forward. Now come up all the way on your tiptoes, stretch up, bend your knees, sit down. So lean back as you sit down, like you're touching your head and hips to a wall behind you. Heels a little higher, knees a little higher, sit down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Good, change. Inhale to come up, last part. Heels down for a second, squeeze your knees together like you have your ballot in between your knees. Don't drop the ballot, lift your heels a little bit off the floor and slowly sit down. Good. Stop when you're half inch off your heels, squeeze your knees together and forward, lift your chest and change. Slowly come up. Nice. Heels down, right foot back, arms down. Eagle pose, Garasana. We'll do the right side first. Remember, I'm not mirroring you. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, swing your right arm under your left arm. You can grab shoulders. You can interlock fingers or with hands in prayer, thumbs towards your face. Pull elbows down, bend your knees, sit down. Lean back and bring your right leg over your left leg, nice, as high as possible. Cross twist and eventually wrap your right foot behind your left calf. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, arch your upper body back. Bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left, twist like ropes, lean your upper body back at the end. Good, change, feet together, arms over your head, left side. Bring your left arm under your right arm, left under right, palms together, thumbs towards your face. Pull elbows down, bend your knees, sit down, stay down there, and bring your left leg over your right leg. And this side might feel a little or a lot different. It does for me. That's really normal. We're not symmetrical. We're not butterflies. We are humans, <laughs> perfectly imperfect. Yoga gives us an opportunity to notice and address our incongruencies, but it also gives us an opportunity to be okay with the fact that like my right shoulder will probably always be tighter than my left shoulder, and that's okay. Change feet together, arms over your head. All right, in the second set, bring your right arm under your left arm. Think bicep under tricep, pull elbows down, one day fingers below the nose, bend your knees, sit down, lean back, and bring your right leg over your left leg. Think hamstring over quadricep. Cross twist and breathe. So we're transitioning into the balancing part of class. And sometimes when we balance, we like forget to breathe or we grit our teeth. Make sure jaw relaxed, sit a little bit lower, bring the weight back into your heel, lean your upper body back. Good, change, feet together, arms over your head. Last one, finish strong, bring your left arm under your right arm, palms together, wrist straight, pull elbows down, bend your knees, sit low, get low, get low, get low, and bring your left leg over your right leg to the window. Just kidding, cross twist, breathe. Bring your knees to the left, upper body to the right. Sit a little bit lower. Breathe a little slower. Arch your upper body back at the end. Good, change feet together, arms over your head, arms down, party time. You can grab a sip of water if you want. Cheers, this is our only official water break. Okay. So for the next three postures, we continue to balance on one leg. Um, if you fall out, hop back in. We say falling out of a posture makes you human, but hopping back in, Makes you a yogi. Standing head to knee, Dandayamana, Johnny Shrasana. Shift your weight to your left leg and lift your left knee cap up. Contract your left quadricep. Lift your right leg up. You can point your toes, flex your toes. Keep your toes flexed back to your face. Option to stay here with the abdomen engaged or as you're ready, start to round forward and eventually pick up your right foot like you're about to help your best friend over a fence. Standing legs should be solid, concrete, 
One piece lamp post unbroken, you have no knee. If you know your left leg is locked, no bend, no wobble. Inhale, breathe in slowly, gently. Lift your right leg up, nice, till it's exactly parallel to the floor. Take a breath, press your heel forward, flex your toes back. It's a great way to stretch your Achilles calf and even hamstring. If both legs lock, start to bend elbows down. Touch elbows to calf muscles. One day elbows go below your calf muscles. Lock your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee. Change, nice doing yes. slowly reverse out. Shift your weight to your right leg. Even redistribute your body weight on your right foot without grabbing the floor with your toes. Lift your left leg up, point your left toes, Flex your left toes, keep your toes flexed back. Stomach in, round down, and pick up your left foot. All 10 fingers interlocked under the foot, webbing to webbing grip. Contract your inner thigh as well as your outer thigh. Kneecap lifting up, quadriceps engaged. Inhale, slowly lift your left leg up. And it's a real kick. Kick your heel forward, flex your toes back. If the standing leg is bending a whole bunch, posture hasn't started, keep lifting up with the right knee. If both legs lock from the side legs, make an L. Like Linda, bend elbows down. Nice kind of touch elbows to calf muscles. One day elbows go below the calf muscles, heel forward, toes back, stomach in, change. Slowly reverse out. That looked like a fun way to fall, Athena. Second set, shift your weight to your left leg. Contract your inner thigh as well as your outer thigh. Evenly distribute your body weight on your left foot. Lift your right leg up, flex your toes back. Ooh, suck your stomach in, round down and pick up your foot. I'm practicing on carpet and that is an added challenge. So good for you if you're practicing on carpet as well. Concentrate, meditate, don't forget to have fun. Inhale, lift your right leg up. If both legs lock, exhale, bend elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles and you can balance, slowly tuck your chin to your chest and maybe put your forehead on your knee. Lock your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee. Change, take your time as you reverse out. Nice, last one, shift your weight to your right leg, contract right thigh, lift your left leg up, flex your toes back, suck your stomach in, round down, pick up your foot. Standing leg should be solid, concrete, one piece lamp post unbroken, you have no knee. When you're ready, lift your left leg up. Get your left leg exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. Elbows go below calf muscles, press your hips forward, slowly tuck your chin to your chest, put your forehead on your knee, hold wherever you are for five, hold it, four, you can do it, three, eyes open, two, one, change, slowly reverse out. Good for you. Okay, that was a forward curl. Next we do a back bend, opening the shoulders and chest. Standing, bow pulling pose, Dande Mana Dhanurasana, feet together, bring your right hand up, elbow touches the body, palm faces the ceiling. Bring your hand out to the right and give yourself a high five for practicing yoga today. Nice. Okay, reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Pick up the inside of your foot. Perfect at the ankle bone. Bring your left arm up, knees together to start. Press your right hip forward. Lock your left leg. Point your right toes. Take a deep breath, stretch up, and go for it. Charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up. Beautiful. Kicking and stretching should be equal. Simultaneous, 50-50. The harder you kick, you can balance forever, so kick really hard. Slowly come down. Bring the abdomen parallel to the floor. See the foot come directly over the top of your head. So from the side, two heels in line. Kick back and up until your right shoulder disappears behind your left shoulder, two shoulders in line. Touch your chin to your shoulder. Shoulder blade scapula coming out of the body, body down more, leg up more. Kick, kick, kick. Whew, change, good, slowly come on up. Other side, bring your left hand up. Imagine you're holding money in your hand. Don't drop the money. Bring your hand out to the left. Reach back without dropping the money. Pick up the inside of your left foot at the ankle, knees together. So you wanna start with your hips in line. Bring your right arm up and back with your ear. Lift up your right kneecap, lock your right leg. Take a deep breath, stretch up and go for it. Charge your body forward as you kick your left leg back and up. All five fingers together, thumb with the index finger. Palm of your right hand faces the floor. Get your right arm exactly parallel to the floor as you breathe in and out through the nose. Slowly come down. It's a back bend, so even as the belly comes down, keep your chin and chest lifted. See the foot coming over the top of your head. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. Body down, leg up, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, kick yourself up. Take a breath. 
Sack and set, bring your right hand up, out to the right, reach back, pick up the inside of your right foot, knees together, left arm up, one day arm behind the ear flap to start. Lift your chin, lift your shoulders, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, and breathe. That's all you have to do, kick into your hand, stretch forward, breathe, in and out through the nose. Little adjustments, right hip down, left shoulder forward, Relax your jaw, contract your left quadricep. Body down more, leg up more, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, slowly kick yourself up. Last one, bring your left hand up, out to the left, reach back, pick up the inside of your left foot at the ankle, right arm up, knees together, press your left hip forward, lock your right leg, point your left toes, stretch up one more time, and go for it, kick, stretch, Breathe, standing bow pulling pose, a bow like an archery. So some people say that your arm makes the arrow, piercing the air, and left arm and leg are the bow. Iyengar takes it a step further. He says body is the bow, posture is the arrow, but the target is the soul. It doesn't really matter if you can do the standing splits, but it matters that you can sit with yourself and breathe and be okay with your own company. Body down, leg up, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, kick yourself up. Nice, come to the back of your mat and towel for a last balancing posture. This next posture is only 10 seconds. Yay, balancing stick, feet together, inhale your arms over your head, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, bring your arms and head back, lean back a little bit. You wanna keep a flat back for this posture. Step your right foot forward, lock both legs, point your left toes and slowly tilt like a seesaw. Arms, body, head, legs, everything, parallel to the floor, so from the side, body makes a T like Tom, not a broken umbrella. Stretch, 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 good, change. Left foot down, Ooh, right foot back, arms back, lean back, step your left foot forward a big step, lock both legs, point your right toes, and slowly tilt. Keep your arms with your ears, abdominal wall engaged. Lift your right heel up, bring your right foot to the right, point your right toes, Stretch, good, change, right foot down, left foot back, arms down, take a breath. Second set, feet together, arms over your head, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, step your right foot forward a big step, lock both legs, point your left toes, and tilt. So as Shakira says, hips don't lie. Notice if your left hip is popping up, drop your left hip down, keep your two hips in line. That way both sides of your back stretch equally the same. Change, left foot down, Right foot back, arms back, last one. Step your left foot forward, squeeze your palms, point your right toes, and tilt. Charge your body forward, stretch your big toe back. Can you straighten your right leg just a little bit more to the back wall? Body down, leg up, stretch, change. Right foot down, left foot back, arms down. Wonderful, for the next three postures, we'll stand on separate legs. Um, if you'd like, you're welcome to come to the top of your mat and face the long side of your mat, I'm going to face you. Standing separate leg stretching, Dande Mana, Vikatha Pada, Hashimoshimasa. This is so fun with another person. Okay, inhale your arms over your head. Exhale, step your right foot to the right. Big step, four feet minimum, arms down parallel to the floor. Turn your toes in. If you have active sciatica, toes point forward. If you don't know what sciatica is, you don't have it. Turn your toes in, lock your legs, lift your chest, and swan dive forward. Stick your butt up all the way down. Grab your heels from behind, roll forward, and touch your forehead to the floor. Um, so from here, if you're having trouble grabbing your heels or touching your forehead to the floor, you can take a bigger or smaller step. For this posture and the next two, don't be afraid to widen or shorten your step. Everybody roll forward into the balls of your feet, contract your quadriceps, so lift your kneecaps up, lock your legs. Change, slowly come up. We're gonna float a triangle pose, and this version of triangle is a little bit like warrior two. So turn your right toes out, take a bigger step. Oop, this carpet will be interesting. Bend your right leg and sit down as low as you can. Lean back, so you want a deep lunge, and just move your arms. Elbow in front of the knee, hover your right fingers above your big and second toe. Don't touch the floor, don't push any weight on the floor. Beautiful, Hannah. Look up towards the ceiling, touch your chin to your shoulder, breathe in and out through your nose. Drop your left thigh down, push your right knee back, turn, twist upper body back, lock your left leg, keep your left foot flat on the floor. Change, rotate your arms, straighten your right leg, turn your right toes in, left toes out, make sure your two heels are in line. 
Inhale, bend your left leg and lunge. And taking a wider or smaller step might help you sit down more. One day left leg makes an upside down L like Linda. Keep your hips low and move your arms. Elbow in front of the knee, right arm up to the ceiling. Look up and stretch up. So actively reach your right armpit up, stretch your left armpit down. Feel a nice stretch across your whole chest. Drop your right thigh down. Push your left knee back with the help of your elbow. Turn, twist upper body back, lock your right leg. Keep your right foot flat on the floor. Change, rotate your arms, straighten your left leg. Turn your left toes in, flowing to standing. Separate leg head to knee pose. Bring your arms over your head sideways, palms together, cross your thumbs. Pivot on your heels to one side of the room. If you're on the long side of your mat, you'll face the back of your mat. Turn your back left toes in, push your left hip forward one, two, three, four, five times until your hips are square. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and go down, round your spine. Tuck your chin to your chest. Touch your forehead to your knee. Now to touch your knee and head together, you can bend your front leg, right leg as much as you need. You got it, touch knee and head together. Front side compression, throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs. Bring your hands together and change. Slowly come up, left hip forward, full stop at the top. Good, pivot on your heels to the other side of the room for the front of your mat. Make sure your heels are in line, but not crisscross. Turn your back toes in and then push your right hip forward until your hips are even. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and go down, round your spine. If you have a history of herniated discs, this is a posture to be careful of. Eventually knee and head touch, but you're never forcing your body. Rounding your spine this much is really good for opening the back, but it can be quite intense, right? So if you think about it, if you touch your forehead and knee together, you round your whole upper body over half of your lower body, all of your vertebrae over one femur bone, true extension to the spine, true compression to the abdominal wall. That's why we call it a compression posture. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together, change, slowly uncurl, vertebrae by vertebrae, disc by disc, good, head up last. Pivot on your heels, step your right foot back, arms down, wonderful. Second set stretching, I'm gonna show you this one from the side. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, step your right into the right big step. Toes in, heels out, thighs lifted, stretch up, and swan dive forward. Stick your butt up like it's Friday night, not Friday afternoon. Grab your heels from behind. So you wanna keep your legs locked and your back flat. Can you bend your elbows back? Nice, elbows to caps, shoulders to ceiling, yes. Belly button to spine. Everybody roll forward, lift your hips up, push your knees back. Lock your legs. Good. Change. Slowly come up. Triangle. Second set. Turn your right foot out. Take a bigger step. Inhale. Bend your right leg. Sit down. Lean back and move your arms. Elbow in front of the knee. Hover your right fingers just above your big and second toe. Look up and stretch up. Push your left hip forward and down. Push your right knee back with the help of your elbow. Turn. Twist upper body back. Contract left thigh. Keep your left foot flat on the floor. Change. Move your arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in, left toes out, make sure heels are in line. Inhale, bend your left leg and lunge. And it's normal for your knee to want to go to the right of your ankle. Try to keep your knee directly over your ankle. Lean back and move your arms, elbow in front of the knee. Hover your fingers just above your big and second toe, look up and stretch up. You want one diagonal line from your ankle all the way to the crown of your head. So right hip down, right arm up, look up, Stretch up, sit down more, turn, twist upper body back, lock right leg, right foot, flat on the floor. Good, change, rotate your arms, straighten your left leg, turn your left toes in, arms up, palms together, take a little bit of a smaller step and pivot, standing separate leg, head to knee pose. Turn your back toes in, push your hips forward, forward, forward. Tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Two hips in line, two heels in line, Backside foot makes a 45 degree angle. Stretch your fingers beyond your big and second toe. You can bend your front leg if you need, touch knee and head together. Bring maximum weight to your front foot. Right hip up, left hip forward. Try to keep your two hips in line so both sides of your back round equally the same. Push forehead into knee. Lock both legs, hands together. Change, imagine you're dragging your forehead up your thigh or chest. Biceps of yours, head up last. Good, pivot on your heels, uncross your heels, and then you really wanna press your right hip forward until your hips and armpits face the front of your mat. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, 
and go down. Can you look at your belly button all the way down? You cannot see your left foot all the way down. Balance challenge, keep your hands together, just beyond the big and second toe. Again, you can bend your front leg, you can take a slightly bigger or smaller step, try to bring your knee and head together, front side compression, throat chunked, eyes open, breathe in, normal. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together, change. Slowly come up, the slower you do, that's where you get the balance, the strength, the control. Good, pivot on your heels, right foot back, arms down. Come to the middle of your mat and towel. We're gonna flow the next two postures together. This is the hip opening series where we train our hips and knees to sit in lotus pose one day. So standing half lotus, we call it tree pose, but it's a little bit different from other styles of tree. Lock your left leg, lift your right leg up, bring the knee out. At first, your foot can be on your shin, your knee, your thigh, eventually touch your heel to your costume, sole of foot flat to ceiling. Slowly, gently let your right knee drop down, never force your knees. Right hand up, and if you can balance, left hand up. So it's a nice way to train your hips and knees to sit in lotus pose. Option to stay here or float a toe stand. Offer toe stand, have your foot above your knee, anywhere on the thigh, and we're gonna to start to fold forward. Hands to floor, walk your hands forward, lean forward, lift your heel, bend your knee, sit down. Walk your hands back to either sides of your hips. Yeah, left hand up, right hand up. It's my favorite posture to fall out of, elbows down, spine straight, maybe come a half inch off your heel. Okay, when you're ready, hands to floor. You can come up on two feet or lift your hips up to straighten your standing leg and then press your hips forward. Nice, change right leg down, lock your right leg, lift your left leg up all the way up as high as it goes. Heel the costume, let your left knee drop. You can bring your left hand up and if that feels okay, right hand up. But if you're like me and your foot falls, hold on to your foot with your hand. Option to stay here or flow to toe stand. Stomach in, start to fold forward. Hands to floor, you can walk your hands forward and lean forward. Once the weight is in your arms, lift your heel, bend your knee, sit down. So like Cheryl Sandberg, lean in the whole time. Walk your hands back to either sides of your hips, point your left toes, drop your left knee down, two knees in line, left hand, right hand, elbows down, spine straight, come a half inch off your heel. Good, when you're ready, hands to floor, lift your hips up. You can come up on two feet or straighten your leg and then press hips forward. Good, <laughs> change, left leg down. Honor yourself, give yourself high five, fist bump, turn around, savasana. We're on the floor for the rest of class. I'm gonna adjust our angle ever so slightly. Does that work? Mer, okay, cool. I'm just gonna move this a little bit to the Cool, Okay, so savasana, bring your head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Heels together, toes fall open, arms down, palms face the ceiling, eyes open, mouth closed, breathing normal. Savasana is a gas station, let it fill you up. When your limbs are close together, your heart and lungs don't have to work to pump, don't have to work very hard to pump fresh blood and oxygen through the body. It's a truly restorative posture, take an inhale and an exhale. We continue, Pavana Mukhasana, wind removing pose. This is also part of the hip opening series. Bend your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers and grab your right shin just below your knee. Pull your knee out to the right and down towards your shoulder. Completely avoid your rib cage. Keep your head on the floor. Look down the center line of your body and pull extra hard. Maximum pressure in your lower abdomen. Change, right leg down. Left leg up, pull your knee out and down. Ooh, that sun is bright. Pull your knee out and down. <laughs> Eventually, knee tucks under your armpit. <laughs> Keep your right leg on the floor. I'm closing my eyes here. Keep your right leg on the floor. If your right calf muscle doesn't naturally touch the floor, flex your right toes back to your face. Change, left leg down, both legs up. Have your elbows each other. Give yourself a big hug for coming to class. Squeeze your knees together and down. Keep your head on the floor. Look down the center line of your body. Squeeze extra tight eventually or in the future when the bone joint skeletal system has improved the whole spine from coccyx to the neck will be flat on the floor. Change, arms down, eyes open. Take a slow inhale and a slow exhale. Second set, right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, pull your knee out and down. Push the pads of your fingers into the backs of your hands. This posture is really good for grip strength, so you open this also jar later today, not your partner. Change, right leg down, left leg up, 
pull your knee out and down. This posture is also good for digestion. It is called wind removing pose for a reason. We are putting pressure on the lower abdomen to massage the colon on the side, descending colon. Change left leg down, both legs up, grab your elbows each other, and it's really good for giving yourself a hug, right? Squeeze your knees together and down. Keep your heels in line side by side, not crisscross. When you line up your heels, you line up your hips and by extension, your spine. So one day, pull back, softens down to the floor change. Arms down and eyes open. Next, we do a straight leg sit up. If you have any concerns about your back or a history of herniated discs, skip the sit up, roll off to the side, meet us on your stomach. Easy peasy. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, only cross your thumbs. Take a breath, tuck your chin to your chest and sit up. Exhale, grab your big toes. Exhale, elbows to floor, forehead to knees. <laughs> Good. Okay. Everybody turn line on your stomach for the spine strengthening series, starting with Cobra, Bhujangasana, good for your lower lumbar spine. Place your hands flat on the floor below your shoulders. Bring your feet together like a Cobra's tail. Toes and heels touch. Lock your legs, press your feet down, look up and lift. Come up halfway only, belly button down, chest up. Elbows stay bent, and you can L, a 90 degree angle like a rectangle. Where are your shoulders in relationship to your ears? Roll your shoulders back and down to open your chest. Don't forget about your cobra's tail. Keep your feet together, toes and heels touch. Lock your legs, push your feet down, hips down, hands down, look up, chin up, chest up, stretch up, breathe up. Good, change, slowly lower down. Look to your right, left ear on the towel, arms down, palms face the ceiling, toes together, heels fall open. Take a slow inhale through your nose and a slow exhale through your nose. Second sack, bring your chin forward, hands on the floor just below your shoulder. So from a bird's eye view, I can't see your fingernails. Keep your feet together, lock your legs, look up and lift. So keep your feet together. Imagine you have a ticket to Justin Bieber in between your heels. And if you drop the ticket, you have to go to the concert. Keep your feet together, lock your legs, push your feet down, squeeze your butt, push your hips down, hands down, look up, chin up, chest up, stretch up, breathe up. Good, change, slowly lower down. Look to your left, right here on the towel. Arms down, heels open. At this point, I would gladly go to a Justin Bieber concert, right? Take a breath. And let's do Lokesh Shalabhasana. Bring your chin forward, arm straight position. Rotate your arms so palms face the floor, thumbs outside, fingers inside. From here, see if you can bring your arms underneath your body. So one day, pinky fingers touch, but hands never overlap. Make sure you're grabbing the floor, not yourself. That comes after class. Lock your right leg. Point your right toes and lift your right leg up to a 45 degree angle, half of 90. See the foot come directly over the top of your head, contract your right thigh, lift your right heel up. Change, slowly right leg down. Relax your right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. Imagine you're drawing a line up the back wall. Use your big toe, so lengthen to lift. Contract your left thigh, lift your heel up. Change, slowly left leg down. Third part, tuck your chin and mouth down, kiss your mat, Mwah. bring your arms a little closer underneath you, spread your fingers wide. Feet together like a cobra's tail, it's a theme. Lock your legs, squeeze your butt, point your toes, and lift both legs up. Come up, everybody come up, struggle a little harder, don't give up. Mouth down, shoulders down, triceps tight, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, lift your heels up. Good, change, slowly lower down, bring your arms out, look to the right, left ear on the towel, take an inhale, and then exhale. Second set, bring your chin forward, rotate your arms, palms face the floor, bring your arms underneath you. If your elbows hurt, I'm right there with you, but you're never forcing your body. Lock your right leg, point your right toes, and lift your right leg up. So in this posture, we're creating a little bit of a tourniquet effect on the arms, right? So when we release out, we get a big rush of blood through the limbs, change right leg down, relax your right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes, lift your left leg up. And this, is, this posture is a good opportunity to discern the difference between like being a little uncomfortable, that's okay, versus a point of pain, never going to a point where you're gritting your teeth or you can't breathe. Change, left leg down, but if it's hard, that's okay. Tuck your chin and mouth down, bring your arms a little closer underneath you, squeeze your buns, lock your legs, point your toes, lift both legs up. You can separate your feet for a minute, see if you can lift your legs up more, and then bring the feet back together. Use your forearms and hips as leverage, shoulders down, mouth down, lock your legs, lift your heels. Change, slowly lower down. Bring your arms out, releasing the tourniquet effect, look to the left. Fresh blood rushes through the knuckles, wrists, elbows, and shoulders. Posture is really good if you have frozen shoulder, tennis elbow, carpal tunnel, or arthritic joints. Sometimes the release from the posture is as therapeutic as the posture itself. 
Next, just crunch all the boss in the full locust, bring your chin forward, arms out to the side like airplane wings, feet together, toes and heels touch. Block your legs, point your toes, look up and lift arms, body, head, legs, everything lifts off the floor. Beautiful. 747 taking off, just your hip bones on the floor, the rest of your body's in the air. Look up to the ceiling where your eyes go, body notes to follow. Keep your feet together, lift your thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change, slowly lower down, tuck in your wings, look to the right. Do you guys remember in Dirty Dancing when Patrick like lifts Jennifer up? That's what we're pretending to do here. Like second set, just imagine you're like running into Patrick's arms and he's gonna lift you up. Second set, chin forward, arms out to the side, feet together, lock your legs, here we go. Point your toes, look up and lift. So imagine Patrick Swayze is like holding you up here as you lift up and breathe. Oh my God, Patrick, you're so strong. Keep your feet together, toes, heels touch, lock your legs, keep your fingers together. Now lift your thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change, slowly lower down. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Tuck in your rings, look to the left, right here on the towel, breathing in. I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> I don't know if you heard Hannah, but she said she's having the time of her life, which is an honor. Okay, down the rest of the floor, but turn on the floor, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside. The best part about having Hannah here is she hasn't heard all of my jokes. These people have heard these jokes for like 10 years and they're tired of them, but that's why it's fun to bring friends. Point your toes, squeeze your butt, look up towards the ceiling and kick into your hands. Continuously keep kicking nice without stopping, without intermission. Try to get your thighs off the floor. Cruise between your ribs and hips. Nice, Steve, hold still. Do little sips of air in and out to your nose. Bring your knees in, feet out, wrist straight. Point your toes, look up, kick, kick, kick. Good, change slowly with control, lower down. Look to your right, left ear on the towel. Breathing in and breathing out. Second section, forward, bend your legs, grab your feet. From the outside, two inches below the toes. Point your toes, squeeze your buttons, look up and kick. Push your feet into your hands. Press your big toes up to the ceiling. Notice if your knees are way wider than your hips, I'm right there with you, bring knees together. If your feet are touching, open your feet a little bit. Try to keep ankles and knees in line with your hips, it's hard. Point your toes, squeeze your butt, look up, kick, 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 kick. Good, change, slowly lower down. Look to your left, right here on the towel, take a breath. Good, bring your chin forward, hands on the floor, push up. Come to the top of your mat and towel for the fixed firm series. The next four postures will work into toe, ankle, and knee tightness. So start in tabletop position, open your feet a little bit wider than your butt. And as you're ready, start to walk your hands back. And eventually you're gonna sink your hips down between your heels. Doesn't have to be today or tomorrow. You can keep your hands in front of you, beside you, or behind you the whole time. If you can sit down between your heels with knees on the floor and you're not in pain, put your hands on your feet. Bend your right elbow down, left elbow down, drop your head back, head to the floor, tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows, each other, and hold. Perfect. Keep your knees on the floor and make sure you can breathe in and out through your nose. Change, put your hands on your feet, push yourself up. Have a blast, very nice, turn around, Savasana. Head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. As you release out of the posture, you release the tourniquet effect on the lower body, fresh blood rushing through the toes, ankles, knees, and hips. Another sit up, you're always welcome to skip the sit ups by rolling off to the side. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, flex your feet, squeeze your seat, sit up. Elbows to floor, forehead to knees. Good, turn, come to the top of your mat and towel, second set, fix firm, I'll show you from the side. Open your feet and knees, and you can stay here the whole time, or as you're ready, slowly walk your hands back, sink your hips down, make sure the insides of your feet are parallel. If your toes are turned way out or way in, that's ankle tightness, and we wanna work through it rather than around it. Put your palms on your soles, right elbow down, left elbow down, drop your head back, head to the floor, tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head. If that's gravy, get a deeper backward bend, pop up your chest. And if that's easy, bring your knees back together, but knees never come off the floor. Change, put your hands on your feet, push yourself up. Head up the last, turn around, Shavasana. 
So we do a mini savasana between every set of every posture, just lying on your back on a hard surface is a really nice way to stretch out the body and to bring, you know, nice circulation through all the limbs. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up, keep your heels on the floor. Good. Come towards the back of your mat and top for half tortoise, Ardha Karmasana. Sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels, arms over your head sideways, palms together, cross your thumbs, stretch up and slowly go down. You're welcome to place one or both hands on the floor to help you in. Otherwise, forehead to floor, little fingers to floor, palms together, thumbs cross. Tilt your pinky fingers down, get your wrists and elbows off the floor. Just the knife edges of your pinky fingers touch the floor, the rest of your arms are in the air. As you inhale, reach your arms forward. As you exhale, sink your hips down, stretch, stretch, stretch. Change, slowly come up, knees together, feet together, good. Arms down, turn around, savasana. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Biceps with your ears. Good. Second set, half tortoise, sit knees, feet together. I'll show you from the side, hips on heels, arms overhead, palms together, stretch up, and slowly go down. Feet together, try to touch forehead to floor, then little fingers to floor. Reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, re-energize, reorganize, revitalize. Good, change, slowly come up, arms with ears, stomach in, nice, arms down, turn around, Shavasana. Heels together, toes fall open, arms down, palms face the ceiling, slow inhale. Even slower exhale. Second, uh, nope, not second set, we already did second set. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Next is camel, our deepest back bend. Come to the top of your mat, stand on your knees, six inches between your knees and feet. I'm gonna stand back a little bit so you can see me. I'm actually gonna show you from periphery. So six inches between knees and feet, put your hands on your lower back like you're putting them in your high-waisted jeans. Push your hips forward, keep your eyes open, look up towards the ceiling. This is a huge way to open the front of the body and that can release some interesting sensations in the body. You're welcome to keep your hands on your back the whole time. When you're ready, relax your head back. If that feels okay, go back halfway with hands on back, freeze in the middle. Oh, there's a spider on the ceiling. When you're ready, right hand down, grab your right heel. Left hand down, grab your left heel, perfect. Thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. If you can't grab your heels, keep your hands on your back. It's safer for your spine. Press your hips forward, lift your chest up, drop your head back, look for your toes behind you. To release, to change, place your hands on your back first and then push yourself up so head comes up last. Good, turn around, savasana. Let yourself feel whatever you feel, savasana makes it better. So when we do these big back bends, we stretch out a bundle of nerves in the solar plex and that space kind of just below the ribs. Um, if you don't do back bends a lot, it can be quite intense. So if you're feeling dizzy, nauseous, lightheaded, heavy-headed, angry, sad, pissed off, you wanna cry, joyful, euphoric, you can't stop laughing, all of that is normal. Um, emotions are real, they sit in our bodies, they're involuntary neurological um, events, right? And sometimes when we do back bends, we release a little bit of the tension in the body and it feels a little weird when we're in it, but we feel so good when we leave the room. So um, if you felt weird in that one, there's nothing wrong with you. If nobody's told you yet today, there's nothing wrong with you, but there's also nothing wrong with you doing second set. So let's do it. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. And if you don't feel anything in that posture, that's normal too. Let your experience be your experience. Open your knees eight to 10 inches between your knees. Still keep six inches between your feet. Put your hands on your waistband spine. Push your hips forward. Keep your eyes open and work at your own pace. One day relaxing your head back. One day going back halfway. Eventually right hand down, left hand down. Push your hips forward. Lift your chest up. Drop your head back. Maybe letting something go in the back bend. Good, change, put your hands on your back, push yourself up, head up last, turn around, savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. So that was our deepest back bend. Next we do our deepest forward curl, moving the body in the opposite direction. We're gonna flip it and reverse it. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. 
Good. Come to the middle of your mat and tell for rabbit, sasangasana. Sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels. Make L's with your hands like little bunny ears. And then grab your heels from the outside. Perfect. Thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. Stretch up. Tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Round your spine. Bring your forehead to knees and top of head to floor. You might have to adjust your ponytail. Pull on your heels. Don't lose the grip and lift your hips up. Perfect. You got it. If there's a gap between your knees and head, you have the option to walk your knees up, but head stays in place. If your feet are coming off the floor or your grip is sliding, ease up. Full palm grip on your heels. Squeeze your heels together. Press your hips forward. Lift your shoulders up. Round your spine. Good. Change. Hips down. Slowly uncurl vertebra by vertebra, just by just. Head up last. Good. Turn around. Savasana. Breathing in and breathing out. Second set. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. I'll show you from the side. Sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels. Make L's with your hands. Grab your heels from the outside. And if you have a long torso, short arms, a big butt, like me, all three, you might not be able to grab your heels at the top. That's okay. Grab your toes, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, and go down. Once forehead to knees, top of head to floor, then reach back. Grab your heels up to the arches of your feet. Don't lose the grip. Pull on your heels and lift your hips up. Lift your shoulders up. Squeeze your heels together. Press your hips forward. Suck your stomach in. Round your spine. Good, change hips down, slowly uncurl, so your head comes up last, turn around, Savasana. I love practicing this posture with my baby Yoda tank top because baby Yoda is just like smiling at me in rabbit pose, it's so nice. Okay, we're almost to the end of class. Everybody's doing great. We're gonna do one set of head to knee, one set of stretching, and we're gonna flow that straight into spine twist. Fun, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good, come to the middle of your mat and tall for Johnny Shoshasana. Just one set, right leg out, left leg in. Two legs make an L, a 90 degree angle, no wider. Inhale your arms over your head, stretch up. Exhale, turn to your right, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. And the name of this posture is head to knee, so the goal is to touch your head and knee together. You're welcome to bend your right leg as much as you want to touch knee and head together. Interlock your 10 fingers up to the webbing. Under the ball of your foot, flex your toes back, bend your elbows down, stomach in, left elbow down, left shoulder down, roll into the left. Change, arms up, left leg out, right leg all the way in. Stretch up first, and then turn to your left, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Webbing to webbing grip under the ball of your foot, like you're still trying to help that friend over a fence. Now if it's easy to touch your knee and head together with a bent leg, See if you can touch your knee and head together with a straight leg and maybe even a locked leg. So when the heel comes off the floor, bend elbows down, eventually elbows to floor. Right elbow down, right shoulder down, two shoulders in line. Change, arms up, both legs out in front of you. If you're skipping sit up, stay here. Otherwise, be careful what's behind you. Lie down, let your spine realign and sit up. For Paschimottanasana stretching, bend your knees, so onto your big toes with your peace sign fingers, Middle and index fingers, thumbs on top, and start to scoot your butt back. I'm going to show you from the side. So for this posture, rather than rounding our spine, you want to arch your spine. When the hamstrings are tight, the back will try to round, and vice versa. When the back is tight, the hamstrings will get really tight. So at first, you can keep your knees bent and fold forward with a flat back. Eventually, you'll get your legs a little bit more straight, and eventually, you can lock your legs. Heels off the floor, then bend elbows down, coming down with a flat back. Do your best stomach to thighs. Chest and knees, one day toes and head touch. Athena, I miss watching you in this posture. Good, change, come on up. Stay seated for spine twist. Take a moment, identify left, identify right. Don't mix them up. Bend your left leg on the floor, touch your right heel to your left knee corner. Right arm behind you, left arm up and over. Grab your left knee with your left hand, hand, heel and knee touch. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over your right shoulder, twist. You can keep your right hand behind you. You can also grab your hip your waistband, one day your inner thigh for the half bind. Point your left toes, keep your right foot solid on the floor. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over your right shoulder, twist, twist, twist. Good, change, unwind, swap out your legs. You can show girl, Wee! bend your right leg on the floor, touch left heel to right knee corner. I'll show you from the side. Left arm close behind you, right arm up and over. Grab your right knee with your right hand. Um, if you're sitting on your right foot, slide it out of the way, press your left sit bone down. Inhale, stretch up. 
Exhale, go over your left shoulder twist. Perfect. You can keep your hand behind you or do the half bind. Keep spine straight, chest up, rib cage open. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over your left shoulder twist, twist, twist. Perfect. Change, unwind, turn around, savasana. How many yoga teachers does it take to screw in a light bulb? One to hold the light bulb and one to say twist, twist, twist. Okay, we start 26 and 2 yoga with a breathing exercise. And we end full circle with another breathing exercise. So we always start and end class focusing on lung health, which I think is extra important these days. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. Okay, come to the middle of your mat and towel, sit well. You can sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels, hands on your thighs. If sitting on your feet hurts, don't do it silly. Sit on your butt, crisscross applesauce. So in 26 and 2 yoga, we call this Kabbalah Bhakti breathing. Um, it's a little different from other styles of Kabbalah Bhakti breathing, a little bit more like the Srika if you're from another um, lineage of yoga. So for this breathing exercise, you're going to exhale through your mouth. And as you exhale through your mouth, snap your stomach in. When the stomach relaxes, your lungs will automatically take in air. So all you really have to do is and your lungs will take care of the inhale. It's pretty cool. Lick your lips, swallow a couple times, sit up nice and tall, concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Lick your lips, swallow a couple times, sit up tall. Strong arms here to support your back as you engage your abdominal wall. And away we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good for you. Honor yourself. Give yourself a hug. High five. Pat on the back. Turn around. Final savasana. Okay, we ended a couple minutes late. My apologies. If you have to go, I totally understand. But if you have time, make time. Final savasana. Close your eyes. You can open your arms and legs. Whatever feels good for you. Draw your attention to the center line of your body. Feel your body firmly grounded into the floor. As you inhale through your nose, feel your chest rise. As you exhale through your nose, feel your chest fall. It's easy sometimes to think like nothing is going our way, but when we just take a moment to feel our body breathing, it's amazing how very much is going your way, how much your body is working for you in ways that we don't even fully appreciate, right? Cells moving, neurons, synapses firing, breath steady through the nose. Inhale, chest rises, body expands. Exhale, shoulders soften, body contracts. Expanding and contracting with every breath, a microcosm of our ever expanding universe. Take a slow inhale. Slow exhale and picture yourself in perfect, radiant health. 